a treat. Well, we all know tomorrow is Father's Day, and instead of making him breakfast, you might want to whip up a hearty lunch or dinner. We've got Scott Hale here from Scrape the Plate with a delicious idea. I wish folks at home could smell what we're smelling yeah, now. Yeah, we, we need smell vision Amazing. Mm. So what are we cooking up today? We are going to do some pot roast sliders, which we're going to do in the crock pot, which you can do overnight or about eight to ten hours. One of those things where you put everything in and forget about it and... Eight hours later, Simple, perfectly easy, done. We love that. What cut of meat did you select? We're using uh, beef chuck, but really you can use any cut of beef. You can use um, top sirloin, whatever you've got. This is actually a pretty affordable cut of meat to use and really tender too. Pick Dad's favorite, and Absolutely. what I like is there are not a lot of ingredients. So walk us through what are the things you use to season. They're not. We're going to start actually with a, just a little bit of flour and water, and the reason we're doing this is we're actually going to create the gravy in the bottom of the uh, of the crock before we put the meat in. That way, once uh, everything's done, all you're going to have to do is shred up the meat and it's ready to go. Okay. So we've got that. We've got some garlic that we've just chopped up about two cloves. A little Worcestershire sauce. Ah, that's the kick I smell. Yeah, there's a little bit of spice in that. Salt and pepper. And lastly, good old beer. What kind of beer? Um, you can use any kind of beer. This is actually just a, um, a regular light beer, but if you wanted to use like a dark beer, that would even give it a little bit Ooh, more richness. That would that would be good. Now, how long does this need to sit before we add the meat? Right now. No oh, time right at all. Away. Okay. So we're going to actually put this... Wow. It's a beautiful cut of meat. ...gingerly in on top. Okay. And now, that just, like I said, put it on, a, on low, 8 to 10 hours. And then you end up. Finished product is absolutely with something gorgeous. Something like this over here. And all you have to do once it's done is shred up the meat with a couple of forks mm. and onto some buns it goes. I'm going to take a bite. I can't wait till after the show. Well, Let here me we see. go. This looks excellent. Wow. I, I wish we could make you a regular. <laughs> I would love that. Mm. Like that? That is so good. It's seasoned so well. Thank you. I'm going to eat the rest of it during the break. Excellent. Thank you so much. Well, we have the recipe on our website. It's really good. Just look under lifestyle. Sorry, I'm eating with my mouth full.